everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the Radiant Rings. I am Kosra Ali and today is a new day, a new video and a very new topic. Before we begin, I'm going to be telling you all how this video today will be very, very helpful for you guys and especially for those who are not really fond of maths. I have been using these tricks and tips and trust me, they have been so helpful to me. But otherwise, before I even knew these tricks, I had to use it the old traditional and ordinary way that everybody else would be doing. But then I came to know these tips and tricks and I used them to make your maths faster and easier. Everybody, I have so many, many, many tricks for you guys to watch. And I hope you're really excited to watch them. But I cannot fit all the tricks in one video. So hence, I will be splitting them all up into separate videos for you guys to watch. So this means one trick in one video. Please, 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 please do not forget to like and share this video. As well as, well, definitely subscribe to our channel. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that little notification bell. Cause, so then all your video, all our videos will show up on your page. Thank you. And now let's get started with the tricks. I'm really excited. So everybody, coming to today's first trick and tip. It is multiplication of numbers ending in 1, as for the title. So every time you see two numbers that have to be multiplied, and they have the last digit as the number 1, it should immediately strike in your mind any time that, oh, I have to use this trick and strategy to solve the equation. And this will make it quick and easy for you. You can do your problem solving in exams, your studies, and any other maths things quicker. It is a very useful one. So let's check it out. Before we are going to be timesing the numbers, I am first going to give you three tips to when you're timesing these numbers that will make it more easier. So, always, so make sure to always note it down before you start timesing because this will make it easier. The first tip is to times the first digit except for the last number. So what I mean by this is suppose we take any number. So number 1 times number 1. You have to times the number. So number times number equals number. That's what I mean by this first step. Then the second tip is to add those numbers that we just times by, but not the last one. So then, instead of doing number times number, you do number plus number instead. Then, the last one is to just add the number one at the end. So you just pop with the one at the end of the whole, no at the end of the number. Now, once you finish writing those before starting, this may seem very confusing, but don't worry. I will be showing all of these steps in detail as we progress. Our first equation is 41 times 51, and they're both ending in one, and that's ju just the exact numbers we need. So let's start with the first digit numbers and the first tip. So ignore the number 1 at the end for now. So let's just work on 4 and 5 for the first two equations. So the first one is to times the numbers. So all we have to do is just 41, I mean sorry, 4 times 5. And what's 4 times 5? 4 times 5 equals 20. And that's our first part of the answer. Now moving on to the second tip. It says add numbers, but not the one. So instead of doing 4 times 5, we do 4 plus 5. And what's 4 plus 5? It's 9. You got it. So now the number reads 209. And then the third one is very simple. So add the number 1 at the end. So all we do is just add 1. 
And that is our answer, 2,091. Wasn't that simple? Well, yes, it was. We can give that a big fat tick. Now, after that, moving on to the second equation. The second equation is 91 times 61. So now we're going to get bigger numbers. So again, starting with the first equation, the first tip, it was to add times both the numbers. So what we have to do is 9 times 6. And again, we can just take out the 1 and work on the 9 and 6. What's 9 times 6? You got it. It's 54. That's the first part of the answer. And then the second tip was to add both the numbers instead so 9 plus 6 what's 9 plus 6 you got it it's 15 that's the second part so now the number is 4, 5415 and then the third tip very simple add the one at the end but wait that is actually not our answer we still have to do a little bit something so this depends on whether the number is 9, 10 or higher. So what we have to do is work on the last two digits. And the last two digits are 1 and 5. So what we can do for now is leave the 1. So we can just put that down. And then what we have to do is work on the 5. The 5 is going to be the same as well. But what we have to do is mainly work on 4 and 1. So the tens, right? We have to just add it to 4 to get the complete equation. And that is, so all we do is 4 plus 1. What's 4 plus 1? It's 5. Then just take the start of the number, 5. And there we go. That's our answer. 5,551. So now this second equation was whether the numbers are 10 or higher, and the first one was whether they're 9 or lower. And now that we have finished that, let's move on to the next set of equations, which is going to be 3 digits and higher. Now, moving on to numbers with two, 3 digits and 2 digits. For the numbers ending in 1, it's not what you're thinking, maybe like just 2 digit times 2 digit and 3 digit times 3 digit. What is like normal multiplication? Except the rule is the most important rule that the numbers have to be ending in 1. So you can do like 2 digit times 3 digit, and that's what we will be doing right now. Moving on to our first equation is 131 times 41. And just to note that the tips will remain the same. They won't change. Except there might be one little teeny, be teeny weeny bit. So, let's start with the first one. Times but the numbers. So that is going to be 13 times 4. 13 times 4 equals... You got it, 52. So we can write that down. And then the second tip is to add both the numbers so instead of timesing we add them what's 13 times 4 you got it it's 17 so now the number reads 5217 then the, th the last and final tip is to add both the numbers the one so then we can just write the one so now the number reads 52171 Wait a second, we can't give that a big fat tick yet, because this is not the correct answer. We still have to do one teeny weeny bit, and this happens like I explained in the 91 times 61, whether the numbers equal to 10 and above, or 9 and below. So we have to work on 17. Oh, and make sure you don't forget your place value, because that's very important in maths and numbers. So. The last two numbers will remain the same. So 1 and 7. 
But what do we do with the 1 in 17? We have to carry forward that over to 2. Because when you do addition and the numbers are higher, you have to carry forward it to the next number and then add it on. So what's 2 plus 1? That's 3. And now that we finish that, the number reads 5,371. Now that is correct. So then we can give that a good tick. So moving on to the second number is 161 times 61. If you notice, both the numbers have 61 in it. The first tip. By now, I'm sure you guys might know the tips by heart, like I do. And it is two times both the numbers. When we times 16 times 6, what does that equal? This may seem big, but it equals 96. So that's the first part of the answer. Then, the second tip is to add both the numbers. So instead of timesing, we plus them. 16 plus 6 equals 22, 2, 2. Then, all we have to do for the third and final tip is to add the 1. Honestly, that's my most favorite and easiest tip because all you have to do is just add the 1. Then, is this correct? No, it's not because, again, we still have to do the little itty bitty touch. And that is to carry forward don't forget your place value it's most important in maths so again the remaining two not last digits will remain the same so one and two what do we do with the other two in the tens place place value well we add that on to six so what's two plus six that equals eight and then we just have the remaining nine now the number reads 9,821, and that is successfully our answer. Yoo-hoo! that a tick. Yay. Coming to our last set of equations, three digit times three digit numbers. This will seem very hard and tough at first, but as we progress and get into more bigger numbers, it will seem easier and make more and more sense make sure you always use the tips they will be very helpful 651 times 241 i've noticed that most of our numbers have two four and six in them and this is one of them okay so coming to our first tip times about the numbers 65 times 24 equals 1,560. Then we have to add them. So 65 plus 24. What does that equal? That equals 89. This is a really big number, honestly. Then our third tip is to add the 1. Wait, no, but this is still not correct, because we have to do the finishing touches, the carry folding. Don't forget your place value, it's really important in maths. Okay, so the last two numbers can stay the same, 1 and 9. But we have the 8. We have to add the 8 to 0. Well, 8 plus 0 equals an 8 itself. Then we just have the 1, 5, and 6. So we can just copy that over. And now our answer reads 156,891. That is our answer. So we can give that a big fat tick. And the good thing about doing these multiplications is that you don't have to use a calculator. You can just trust the tips and method and you can easily get your answer. Thank you everybody so much for watching today's video. Hope this, hope this trick will be useful to you. The numbers ending in one. When you're doing your math, your problem solving, your exams, the strategy should immediately strike in your mind that, oh, I have to use a strategy to solve the equation when numbers ending in one. 
and then you can immediately use that strategy to help you solve it and you'll get it in seconds and also with the tips as well once again please 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 do not forget to like and share this video and well definitely subscribe to our channel so you do not absolutely do not miss out on any future videos and again don't forget to hit that little notification bell bye